Hello, welcome back to another video. My name is Elsie and I'm a native of Zimbabwe. I'm also the founder of the Vision Production. I do writing on my Vision Production, but on this channel though, I talk about culture. As a native of Zimbabwe, I talk a lot about the cultures, traditions, lifestyles, as I was growing up in Zimbabwe. And now that I live in America, I kind of combine some of my culture shocks living in America. Today, I'm going to bring to you something that I want to call like a series of um, videos, short videos that I'm going to bring about my trip that I'll be taking very soon with a friend to Zimbabwe. And this came because of so many questions that have been coming through, asking me about different things. And I wanted to clarify those things and just kind of answer those questions because I kind of figure if she is asking maybe there's a few more people who wants to know about the same question so i wanted to bring this video to you as part of the series uh if you want more about this i made a video already first that's uh called mind-boggling questions and i think you can watch that video too in this series so Question number one that have been coming because a friend of mine wants to know so many different things about Zimbabwe and what the life is like and what she should prepare, what she shouldn't prepare, what are the things, what are the protocols and you know all that. To be honest with you, it's very difficult to cover things like that because some of the things that you are going to encounter as you visit a place, they are not things that you think they're going to be there. But, you know, they come somewhere and you find you are in a situation. By the way, as I'm talking about this, be, if you have a subscriber, subscribe, please do so now. And also ring the notification bell so that we can send you some videos as we bring them uh, as this series. And I also wanted to let you know that as I'm talking about culture as a native of Zimbabwe, I just... I'm about to publish my memoir, Growing Up in Zimbabwe, its reasons for living. I think to get even more in depth about the culture and understanding about different things, you can actually also grab that copy as soon as it comes. Right now it's the, you know, kind of being on the finishing time of it and very soon it's going to be out. So look out for that, for the link for that. So let's dive into it. The first question is, is there bottled water? I just told you, you know, some of the questions, they are questions that other people might think, oh, why would a person ask a question like that? Or, oh, yeah, there should be, you know, bottled water everywhere, right? But again, it's someone who say, well, I didn't even know that to think about a question like that, because maybe they don't have bottled water. So... To answer the question, it answered in two parts, and maybe most of them they might be answered in two parts because it depends where you are. Okay, if you are in Zimbabwe and you are in this city, honestly speaking, there's no difference between the city here and the city in Zimbabwe. So, whatever for the most part that you get in this city here, you are going to get there. Um, there are some things that are like according to the area you get more. For example, in America, there's a lot more because of the number of ethnic groups that in America. So you get a whole lot more Chinese products, Germany, um, Spanish, these all kinds of products, right? But maybe when you get in a place like Zimbabwe, you might not get as many products as that. But definitely there is bottled water. But when you go into the country, you might not get bottled water. The next question, I'm reading from some questions here. The next question is, do we have to walk all the time? This was really like shocking to me, like, what? You know, <laughs> but actually it's a good question because many people, when they see videos and, you know, they see movies about Africa, they see a lot of walking and they see a lot of the countryside, but they never see the cities that much. Unfortunately, I don't know why. People, they run to all the stuff that is not the best, but we have the best. So, you know, you can walk, you walk, yes, but also you don't have to walk all the time. Because 
We have cars just like here. There's buses, there's taxis, there's the Ubers, there's everything in the cities, if you are in the city. So you can either hire a car, just like you would go to um, Avis and hire a car to, to Heads, everywhere, anywhere you go to, they have places like that. Or you can hire from, <coughs> from a local person. Also, you can hire a car. So it's not um, rent a car. I mean, you know, most people, they use rent here in America. But, you know, <clears throat> they hire a car. You can, take, you can have a transportation. You don't have to walk all the time. And yes, there's also a lot of walking when you are in the countryside. If you don't have your own transportation, you might have to walk from wherever. Like for us living in the countryside, if I have to go home to my country side home, I have to walk from there to go to the bus stop. I have to walk from there to go to the stores. I have to walk from there to go to, if I'm visiting other people and things like that, I have to walk to different places around the area or something like that. But you are going to have a bus maybe, you know, half a mile away, a mile away, a quarter mile away, depend on the situation or whatever. That's when you have to walk a little bit more there if you don't have your own transportation but you can prepare to rent a car and you can travel everywhere with a car okay do they have number three <clears throat> do they have bathtub that's another one that i was like oh my god okay <clears throat> and maybe many people are asking this question so if you're one of them just sit there and listen and also don't forget to subscribe because these questions, these things are going to come even more as we move forward. Is there a bathtub? Yes or no again? I'm sorry, but that's what it is. It's a yes or no. Uh, when you are in the city again, you are going to find the same thing just like here. So yes, there's bathtubs. You can take showers. You can, you know, do all those things. But again, when you go into the countryside, they do not have bathtubs. That's for sure. They don't have bathtubs. Um, unless the only bathtub you get is like one of those dishes, big dish, that they can put water there and you can take your bath there. And including that, I'm going to give you this as a bonus, as a bonus tip. Uh, if you haven't washed your body uh, in a, in a, in a ba bath, in a what you call it, like a dish type of a, a place, well, it's going to be kind of like a new thing, but most of the time people, they do take their bath with water put in a dish, and then you take your, your bath. When you go to the river, the same thing, these are bonus tips now. If you go to the river, you're going to do the same thing. You get water and go like that, and there's no shower, okay? For most people, some people, they are building just the regular homes and with running water and all that, you know, so sometimes, you know, you go there. But I'm talking about majority people in the countryside. I grew up in that kind of uh, environment, and we did not have uh, bathtubs, we didn't have showers, we didn't have running water. So if you are going to be in that area, a friend of mine is going to be because she's going to move around with me and we are going to visit the family. So she, she will have to learn this kind of thing. So yes, there is no bathtubs. Uh, another bonus tip about the bath is that if you are going to go to the river, you are going to wash with everybody who is around there in the same spot open space okay i remember one of my daughter had a hard time with this but you know it's something that people they practice that's the way they do so that's what it is number four to this question what can i do when i get there many people they really want to contribute they want to give back they want to do something because they know people in africa they are in need of different things that's true and they want to know what is that you can do. The answer, I got this person so many times from my uh, husband's family, many, many times. What is that? How can I help? What is that I can do? Things like that. You can do anything. That's the answer. Literally, you can do anything. You can, you can, you can go there and you can help them to... To, to do whatever, coloring, if you, do, if you are a painter, if you are a teacher, if you are whatever you are, you can help. 
there's always you can bring whatever you think people they use here paper pencils cut crayons whatever you can do that so there's really in so many ways no limit why because even though we might have the resources there but a lot of people too they are struggling to get to the resource because they don't have money so anything can help so there's no limit to that so i'm going to have um a project where actually i'm going to maybe ask people to donate whatever they can donate to bring there so it's coming too uh number 5 is what gifts to bring i think it ties on with number 4 to a certain degree what can i do when i'm there uh what can you bring to uh zimbabwe to africa i would say anything again that's the answer anything you can bring anything i mean you'll be amazed on what people they are, they appreciate pair of socks a hat jacket some clothing um anything that you can think of like i say school supplies backpacks uh anything you can think of you can actually bring there so there is no limit to this you know it's really like um you know open it's open and again if you are enjoying this kind of videos where we talk about culture and also talk about what kind of questions other people have and if you do have your own questions please put it in the comments below so i can answer those questions as i'm going with this series it's going to be a few videos coming up in this series of my trip with a friend to zimbabwe so uh, just be on the lookout so you can get the information and again don't forget to subscribe ring the notification bell so you can be notified as we bring a new video to you and thank you so much for coming back those who are coming back and thank you for those who are watching for the first time i hope you enjoy it and you come back thank you see you next time bye